right, all right, all right. Let's talk about algorithms. So I personally get excited whenever the topic of algorithms comes up, okay? So what exactly is an algorithm? An algorithm is basically a set of instructions that are given to a computer in order for it to produce a specific result. That's basically it. There's really not much more you need to know about algorithms, so I guess the lesson is over. Let's move on to the next one. No, I'm just joking. Let's talk a little bit more about algorithms. We can actually see algorithms all around us. It's not just limited to computer programming, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to bake some delicious cake, okay? It actually involves an algorithm because we're using some type of cooking recipe. And the instructions might involve something like add some flour, add some butter, add some sugar, add some eggs, add some more things, mix it all together, and then put it into an oven for a set amount of time at a set specific temperature. And then after some time passes, you have your delicious cake. So essentially that is the algorithm that is involved in making a cake. Another place that you might see algorithms is basically when you're doing your laundry or washing your clothes. So typically what you do is you sort your clothes. You separate all the light items from all the dark clothing because you don't want your colorful clothes to bleed into your white clothes. You want to keep them white. So you separate the two. And this involves some type of sorting. If it's white, you put it to the left. If it's dark, you put it to the right. And that process of sorting itself is an algorithm. And let's look at a more technical example, okay? So for example, Amazon shipping facilities will use a whole lot of algorithms in order to determine where to move your package, what size of the box the package needs to be in, which items go together in the same box, which part of the facility the package needs to be moved to in order for it to be shipped to the correct destination and so many more algorithms. Okay, so all of these different algorithms come together in order for the shipping facility to operate efficiently. So let's talk about one last type of algorithm, which you probably use quite often when you're trying to reach some destination that you've never been to before. And this is the algorithm that is involved in your GPS navigation system, okay? So for example, let's say we're using Google Maps and we're trying to head to a specific destination. There's an algorithm that would help determine the fastest routes to get to that destination or even the shortest route to get there or even a route that avoids any type of traffic. So as you can see, there's a lot of different algorithms that we encounter in our daily lives. So the topic of algorithms is an advanced topic. It's much more than how to write code. It involves how we think, it involves any type of problem solving or finding the best solutions for any type of problem. So everything we discuss about algorithms can be used with any type of programming language. And since you already know how to write code at this point, we're not going to focus too much on the code. We're rather going to focus on the most important programming skill, which is solving problems efficiently.